Hey everybody, I am Meg from Love and Stamps and you are watching uh, Maker Mornings with Meg. So we are going to do a project today. Uh, first of all, I'm excited to be back with you. I hope you enjoyed the spring break, spring break rewind last week with all of the projects. And so I'm happy to be back. And I spent uh, part of my spring break doing a bunch of fun outdoorsy things, hiking and skiing and so forth in the mountains in Alberta. And so I'm all about the fun of the Greatest Journey stamp set that we're going to use today. And actually the next project I'm going to show you on, uh, let's see, today's Tuesday. So the next project I show on Thursday, I'm going to use this one too, because this is my feature for the month of March. And it is a terrific set. Um, if you have anyone in your life who is going through something rough, it does not have to be for just outdoors people. Um, it can be for cards of encouragement. Uh, it can be great graduation cards. And so the next two projects today and on Thursday, I'm going to show you gift card holders because graduations are coming around the corner and gift cards are great. And when somebody's launching into something new and exciting, this is a really um, terrific stamp set for them. So um, good morning, everybody. And uh, yeah, I missed you guys last week too. Okay. So with that, um, we're going to, I'm going to remind you, this is the card that we did with this. It was like episode 340. I should have looked it up. 345. It's been a little while. Um, but this one right here, and it uses the uh, memories and more uh, cards and envelopes, which are super terrific and often overlooked. And so I'm going to give you um, some directions for turning one of them into a box today. And I think you guys are going to love this project. So with that, let me get my camera switched around here. Kind of a new setup. We'll see how it goes. All right. Uh, so that we have our pieces. So um, this is that reminder of that card that we did last time um, with the blends and the um, pre-printed front of that card. So some really great opportunities. But today we're gonna take one of the other cards from this set and we are going to um, go ahead and turn it into a box, like I said. Morning, Tanya. Oh, I'm glad you like the top. It's new, I just made it from a, a pattern, called, it's called the Veltori pattern and um, it's by Green Style. They do great um, PDF patterns if you're a sewist. Sewist, that's what we like to say instead of sewer, because when you put sewer on in writing, um, it looks like sewer, and I'm not a sewer. <laughs> okay, so to make our box, um, I'm gonna pull in my trimmer here, or my cut, my scoring, uh, simply scored board here, um, because this is really the easiest way to show you how to score this box. Um, so again, if you like printed tutorials, the printed tutorials for this project and the others for um, the month of March will be available um, in my Etsy shop shortly, sorry about that. And also um, via email, you'll get them for free as a PDF if you place an order in my store this month. So link is in the video description if you're looking for supplies. So I'm gonna go ahead and score this card um, at half an inch, at three and a half inches, at seven and a quarter inches, and at eight inches, okay? So what this is gonna do is it's gonna give us a box with three quarter inch sides. So I need to score three quarter inches at the bottom. So I don't have a little stopper here, just remember that it's three quarter inch sides, and that is going to give us our scored pieces. I know it's a little bit tricky to see on camera, but I'm gonna take my snips then and snip up to the score line on those bottom pieces. I'm gonna leave all these here. And then down here, I am going to, you have to trust me that I'm cutting on the score lines. And I'm gonna actually trim away this little bit here. Sometimes it's easier to see if you fold it because we don't need that little bit. Okay, so here is our scored paper. And now we're gonna go ahead and fold on those score lines. If you need help remembering which side to fold toward or away from, um, when you um, make a score line, you have a dimple on one side of the card, this cute little drop part that goes down as a dimple. And then the other side, you have a pimple. And so you're going to show your dimples, they go on the outside, and hide your pimples. You're gonna score them um, or fold them underneath. Okay, so we're not gonna worry about the bottom too much at the moment. Hey, Cheryl. Uh, and I am going to show you my trick for attaching these pieces. Now, um, we're gonna use some adhesive, and so I'm going to, um, I really, really love, I 
I'm still here. I really, really love my multi-purpose liquid glue for this because um, it gives me the um, most ease in sort of getting everything set where I want it. So I'm gonna put a little bit on each side of this score line because this piece is gonna fold over like this, okay? Now, you can do this in the middle of the air like this, but your chance of getting a box that is like all gallywampus is a lot higher. Since you scored them on a scoreboard, you know your score lines are parallel. So the best chance is to, oops, I just ran my finger across the glue in my excitement. Um, <laughs> thanks for sharing, Marilyn. Uh, and now I have gluey fingers. Good thing this uh, shimmy is handy. I really find that thing useful for cleaning my hands. Um, so I'm gonna lay it flat on the table and all I'm gonna do is just fold across like that. Now, since I have multi-purpose liquid glue in there, I can um, manipulate that just a little bit to make sure that my box is totally set where I want it um, because it shifts just a little bit. Um, other good adhesive for this is tear tape or the um, Seal Plus, the darker one. Uh, they are a little bit less forgiving. You can't shift them once you adhered. So that's why I like the multi-purpose liquid glue. But whatever you, uh, some people are not glue fans, so I get that. Um, what I'm gonna do now is make the bottom of my box. I'm gonna fold in the sides and the bottom, and then I'm gonna put my glue right across here and just run this across. This one's almost empty, which is why I tap it all the time. Um, remember with this glue, if you can see it, it is enough. You don't want like a giant bead on there or anything because you don't want it to squish out. And then we have, I'm gonna set this down to make sure it's adhering at the bottom. And now we have a very cute little box. Um, this is nice and sturdy because the cards and envelopes are, um, the cards are really nice heavy cardstock. And so this box is uh, in good, I can squish it just a little for you, but it's a really nice one um, to be able to use for stuff. So now we need to decorate our box clearly. And so I am going to bring in um, some of the paper here from our, um, from our set. This is from the Enjoy the Journey suite. And I realized I didn't cut my paper ahead of time. Okay, so I have my um, sheet of this paper here, which I really love. And I am going to um, go ahead and pick this one because I love the contrast with our box. So we're gonna make a tag to stick on the front of here and the tag is just really going to stand out. And so I'm gonna go ahead and cut a um, piece here. It's gonna be four inches tall, our tag. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it to four inches first. And remember to use that edge of your trimmer um, so that you've got nice straight edges. Um, and then I'm gonna take my trimmer, turn it this way, and go ahead and cut two inches. So for our tag, we have a four by two um, piece, and I'm gonna show you the magic trick for always having a perfect tag every time with no stress, okay? I know, you're like, what? <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and take my scissors, and the first cut could go anywhere, it doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna go like this, and make my tag, okay? So now I have this little triangle left over. I'm gonna take it and flip it and line it up here and set it right against the tag um, in the same spot, okay? Give it a good pinch. And then I'm gonna cut on the same line. Okay, so now I have two corners that are um, exactly the same because if you've ever done this before you know like you cut one corner and then you like try to freehand the other corner and then their tag gets smaller and smaller and smaller because it doesn't match right um, so anyway I'm gonna do one little trick I'm gonna cut off just the tip top um, corner of this at each side then that gives us just a little bit softer um, top shape for our tag okay all right so we've got a good start here on our tag for our box um, now, on this, I really wanted to feature the dies for this set. So there are a number of dies. Some of them match um, the sets, like the flower ones we used the other day and the tree ones here. Um, but some of them, like this darling tent and these fabulous clouds, um, some of them are shape images. So they are, there's a biker, a runner, um, a lantern person. You can also put the hiking pole in this person's hand to make it look more like a hiking um, there's a moon, there's a mountain. This is a really outstanding die set. And with the greetings in here, so um, mountains of thanks is a card you could give to anyone. Um, 
I'm so inspired by our courage is a great um, re enforcing kind of message for somebody. Um, and then all kinds of great things for graduations or retirements. This is the moment of, uh, this moment is the start of something great. Wishing you uh, joy in this next adventure. You belong among the stars, really um, outstanding. And then we're in this together can go really nicely um, with a courage greeting. So don't discount this set. Um, if it's something that's different from other things that you have, this is a great one to add to your collection because um, it really, expands uh, the, your options, so to give you something new to do. All right, so I've got my uh, pieces here. I've got my tent and the outline. So these are meant to go together. So I'm gonna take one and die cut it here from Mango Cardstock, and then I'm gonna take the outline and die cut it here from Pumpkin Pie Cardstock. And of course, um, through the magic of television, we have, <laughs> look, trees. Um, oh, I think I just dropped one of my, clouds in the, hmm. okay, well, we'll see what happens there. Oh, geez, did I lose both of them? Oh, well, anyway, uh, through the magic of television, I have these die cut. And so these uh, are meant to layer together. So you just poke out any pieces that cut but didn't release and then grab your multi-purpose liquid glue. If you're wondering why I tap it down all the time, it's so that the glue is right at the tip um, of the glue dispenser so they don't have to work to get it out. Um, if you're squeezing, squeezing, squeezing your glue, uh, try tapping it down first and then store it flat or this direction, not this direction. Because if you store it up, all the glue runs down to the bottom of the container and then it's not available for you. So then you're squeezing, squeezing, squeezing. So if you've, if you've tried multi-purpose liquid be glue before and you're like, it's not for me, um, try those tips. All right, I'm gonna stick a block on there to make sure that we have our... Uh, make sure we have our piece and I'm going to find in my scrap bin, there's our cloud. Um, so I've got our clouds here and they are cut from, um, uh, why do I always, balmy blue cardstock. And then we're gonna think about putting these together on our tie. What else do we need? We need some trees. Um, so I wanted to show you um, this. So I have my tree stamp here and my garden green ink pad, which I've just freshly inked so it makes beautiful um, dark tree images. So I'm gonna take this and go ahead and stamp on here. Um, and then this I can die cut with the coordinating die. Um, remember, I love my washi tape uh, for lining things up so that I can just kind of sit here at my workspace and line these up and then just take them over to my die cut station and not have to try and line them up while I'm standing there. Um, and then, uh, we're going to go ahead, um, I'm going to show you this though. Now I'm showing a lot of different colors of cardstock today. So if you don't have these colors of cardstock, first of all, you should know that you can get an assorted pack of cardstock for each of the color families so that you can add them to your collection and just have a couple sheets of each one, which is great for a set like this where you're mixing and matching. Um, but you also don't forget about the ombre papers in this set. So um, you can see earlier, I went ahead and I stamped my trees right on this. So you could go ahead and stamp your trees right here and die cut here. And then you have a really pretty matching tree set with a really nice um, background with some variegated color. So remember to use your papers here, just like cardstock pieces. You can stamp on them and trim them and, and all, the, all the good things, so, okay? All right, let's see, Marilyn had a good tip. She said she stores her glue in a pill bottle so that it's always standing up. And I actually store mine, let's see, that's a really good tip. I store mine in a shot glass. I like to um, collect these from different places I go on Stampin' Up! Adventures. So this is from a trip, um, the Stampin' Up! trip was to the Mediterranean. It was a, a Mediterranean cruise. And so um, Khan was one of the places we went. And I usually store my glue in this container uh, like this so that it's always ready to go. So. I'm with you, Marilyn. Always, always store the glue that direction just to make it easy. So, and it's not a very heavy glue, so it's usually pretty easy to find something that works well. All right, so let's look at putting our pieces together here. Um, I've got our tent uh, here for our tag, and our tag can very much um, overlap the sides. We don't need to like keep everything on the tag. In fact, um, the tag's not very large, so I really like the idea of expanding our palette. And then we have some clouds that we can put up here. You guys like how this is coming together? Um, so we need two things, we need a greeting and then we need some kind of attachment. 
So I'm gonna use um, the twine from this package. So this twine is included in the Journey Suite, um, which is linked in the video description. And I'm gonna use the orange one. Um, it's a nice heavy twine, so you can um, kind of make the most of it. And actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna double it, I think. Uh, so when you have a, a twine or a string that isn't um, as like visually big as you want it to be, it's a really easy thing to just go ahead and double it. So do you see how I made that? Um, I just used two pieces and tied them as if they were one. Okay, and then I'm gonna get my ends here. I like to tie my, tie my bows before I trim the string so that I'm not like wasting a ton. So I have a one short-sided bow and one long-sided bow, but that's okay. All right. So that's gonna be our bow. Oh, I kinda of like that even better than the one I did in my, my first project. All right, but we need a greeting for this. And so like I said, all these greetings are just outstanding. Um, and so I'm gonna do this um, wishing you joy in this next adventure and grab here um, a piece of this mango cardstock. And let's see, I have my stamp handy and I'm gonna do in green. Now, when I did my sample for this, I thought, mm, I don't know, do I do green? Do I do pumpkin pie to match our pumpkin pie cardstock? And I'm going to show you um, the two tags and let you guys uh, kind of help me decide. So um, again, with my trimmer, uh, what I'm doing is I'm looking right here to make sure that my trimmer is straight um, on my cardstock so I can like line it up right there and just run across. And so now I have just the perfect straight line um, thing. The trimmer is great for cutting little scraps. So I can put this across here like that, or here is the tag that was done in pumpkin pie. So I feel like I'm pretty clear on which one I like better. Um, I'm not sure which one you guys like. Always leave me a comment. I like your, to hear what you think. The orange is nice because it matches, but this one with the green, it really stands out. Um, the contrast in the two colors just really makes the greeting um, show. So I'm going to go ahead and attach this. So let's work on putting these pieces together. And then I'm going to show you um, what I decided for the inside of our um, project here. Because it's I've got um, a gift card to put in here. And I'm going to show you how I... Uh, I'm going to attach the gift card inside our box. So, all right, so first things first, um, I'm gonna attach this tent here and I'm gonna pop the um, dimensional on the tag so that if I, uh, I can't like miss, does that make sense? Um, so I'm gonna just pop my tent on and then my trees are gonna go into the background. So they're my background image, which means I'm gonna look at where this is gonna contact and then I'm gonna take my uh, multi-purpose liquid glue right out of the container, Marilyn reminded me to grab, <laughs> and pop the trees on there. Now, next thing is gonna be our tag, and so their tag is gonna fit like this, and I'm gonna pop that on a dimensional too. Um, I, like I said, find it easiest to put my dimensionals on my project versus my um, ed, a piece I'm adding because that way uh, I know that it's gonna fit in the right place. So let's go ahead and put a um, dimensional here for our cloud. So we're gonna pop that up and try and get that kind of straight. And then these two clouds, I think we're gonna go ahead and use flat. So I really like to vary my the height of my pieces um, so that I can just sort of have a little bit of extra visual interest on that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and pop our last cloud up here again. Uh, tiny bit of glue. If you can see it, it is enough. You don't have to do overly much on that. Okay. And there we have that. Okay. So our string now is going to attach at the top. We're going to have this be a faux tag. We're not actually going to tie it to the gift box. Um, we're going to attach it. Uh, but before we do that, I need my sort of like fun blingy um, item. And that is going to be the embellishment from this suite. So these are called... Um, enamel sticker icons and you get four sheets. Each sheet is uh, 16 little enamel stickers and they are black and white, um, which initially threw me. I'm like, well, that's not very colorful. Um, but the answer to that is you're going to color them. So like we did here on our card, um, the other day we colored this with pumpkin pie Stampin' Blend to match our background. We're gonna go ahead and color um, for this one and I'm gonna pull out my pumpkin pie blend again and I'm going to color one of these little fire stickers. So 
Remember, I find it easiest to color when it's still on the backing sheet. That way, um, it, you're not like, you can see here on this, this pink one that I did, see how I, I overlap the edges? I wanna make sure the whole sticker is colored. So you wanna do that on your backing sheet here, not on your project because you don't want that marker to overlap. So, um, all right, we're gonna pop this on here. I think kind of just right here in the background is a good spot for that, okay? Oh, we didn't attach our, our thing. Uh, so easiest way to attach these is to use a mini glue dot. And I really like to roll these like little mini burritos to pop on the back of our bows and then stick that on our tag, okay? So now we have a really cute um, tag that you could totally customize and use for um, any purpose. But again, I really like this one. So I will tell you that the gift card that's gonna go in this is for REI. So REI, if you don't know it, is an outfitter, um, an outdoors gear store. Um, where I really, really love REI. <laughs> so um, I'm actually getting ready for a backpacking trip this weekend that I'm taking uh, in Indiana. So that'll be fun. Wish for warmish, dry weather for me, please. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna go ahead and pop this on here with a couple of Stampin' Dimensionals and then that gives us our tag. So now to go with this, um, I could just go ahead and take a little bit of... Um, tissue paper and pop the tissue paper inside this box. You could, of course, decorate this box for anything. It doesn't have to be a gift card holder. You can use it for um, candy. You can use it for little treats. I was trying to think what like outdoor gear I have that fits in this little box. Um, actually, my headlamp would probably fit in here, but uh, all kinds of good things can go in here. But um, if you wanna add a, a greeting with this, cause we didn't really leave room for a greeting. Um, hey Kelly, hey Becky. Uh, oh, wait, I missed some comments. Let me grab those. Um, oh, Fran, I'm so glad you're here. Oh, and everybody's saying green. That's funny. Everybody's uh, comments came in a little bit late. So, um, all right. So what I want to do is have a great way to attach this. And so what I'm going to bring in is another totally overlooked. So I told you that these are super overlooked. Um, the cards and envelopes. Well, you know what? So are the um, Murray's and more card packs. And so I'm going to bring in um, these options and we're going to take a look at some here. Um, so I've got this one that says thrilled for you. And these are very nicely sized to fit into our box and also for like backing a gift card. So you could go ahead and ad adhere this. I would just put a dimensional on the back. And then you'd have your thrilled for you greeting and your gift card. Um, if you want to, you could write a message on here instead. But this really fits nicely into our box, okay? Um, what other options are included in these? If you didn't know about these, they are um, a collection of lots and lots. Mm, sorry, I don't have a number. This many, <laughs> uh, three by four cards and this many. Uh, four by six cards minus a couple that I've used already. And then you get four sheets of these um, stickers that go with them. And I'm gonna show you a tip for these stickers the next time we get together. But there's lots of extra greetings on here. Um, there are fun like elements. This little puppy is the cutest. Um, so these are a great thing to add to your, um, to have handy to go along with your suite. So I have wow, which would be a great one to go with our gift card. I have enjoy the adventure, which would go together. There's the thrilled for you. Um, just all kinds of fun greetings. You're the best, the best part. Thank you, you are sweet. Yay, yay, yay. Um, like honestly, that one would be great to go with enjoy the adventure. Um, and then it has a little blurb on the back for you to write your message. Um, all kinds, this one's pretty cute too lucky to have a friend like you. Uh, so think about these and um, incorporating them with your gift cards and, and so forth so that you have some more options for um, adding to your greetings for things like this. So um, let's see. Mickey was tapping. Tanya says Mickey was tapping his foot to see what's next with your stamping. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then, uh, oh good, I'm glad you made it, Deborah. Okay, so here is our second of our projects with the um, Greatest Journey stamp set and coordinating dies. Extract these from my mess, coordinating dies. Um, just using a lot of these pieces to make some really um, fun projects. So thank you guys for joining me. Let me get my um, camera turned back on here. 
There we go. All right. So thank you guys for joining me this morning. Um, I hope that you are inspired to think about um, this stamp set, especially if you hadn't considered it before. It is really an outstanding one for lots of occasions. And I don't know about you guys, but with graduations coming up, I have a lot of grad things to be working on. So uh, I love this uh, stamp set for for celebrating those kinds of milestones and sending people off to their next chapter and, and so forth. So, all right, everybody, if you have any questions, let me know, leave a comment, let me know if you're watching now or later, what your favorite part of this was. Um, go ahead and uh, use the code, the link in the video description to uh, shop if there are supplies that you need that supports my business and the ability for me to make videos for you. And I really appreciate it. So uh, again, it's a really great suite. I, I really think you guys should check it out. So, All right. Have a great day, everybody. And I'll be back on Thursday with another Maker Mornings with Meg video for you. Happy stamping.